Hi guys, welcome back to the channel of love. Okay, one, one, why? Why? One, why one? Why one more final message for today? Because um, I've got other things I'm wanting to do, like paint my nails. I did try to paint them yesterday and made a bit of a, uh, a not so good job of it. So I took it off, but there's they, they're not looking good. They need some attention. Okay. What tarot card should we use? Let's use the tarot matcher. Quick message, and then I can go and get on with what I'm feeling drawn to get on with. Okay, let's have a look. Let's see look in this deck of cards. Okay, that's it. We've had enough. We're done. I feel like he has, like, um, the green-eyed monster. Like, for him, so there's no need to have the green-eyed monster be jealous or envious uh, anymore. Okay. The Ten of Swords. It's not a great card. Let me read you the meaning of this. But great things await you once you get up. But you're not allowed to go back to how you were doing things. Okay. The Ten of Swords, the battle is over. It is time to bury the dead, heal the wounded, and make peace in all the ways that peace needs to be made. This is a time of sorrow as well as relief. The harshness and violence of the conflict will not be swept away soon. All that can be done is to pick up the pieces and carry on. For to do anything else would be a defeat to the soul that could not be born. The key ideas, the ruin of an enterprise, cutting your losses, recovering from shock and defeat. Okay, you're in recovery. One more card. I can see a card already sticking out there. Should we take this one? Let's take this card. Okay, well. There's you. I'm not sure if this is you. <laughs> Trying to take your swords out, cutting your losses, and you're looking back here. All you can do is carry on. Carry on regardless. The, can you see the high priestess? The high priestess? It's the high priest. But well, we can say it's a high priestess there. Can you see sitting there? So we can see the green figure. The swords have been taken out. And we can just see this hooded, cloaked figure here. I can see the sunshine through the two towers now. Across that bridge. Let's read about death. Card number 13. A long vigil ends at sunrise. And the knight who has undergone the ordeal lies naked and seemingly dead. His sword has been held in the possession of a priest, for no worldly weapon can be of use when the enemy is death itself. Setting aside the trappings of his mortal life, the knight offered himself on the altar of the ultimate sacrifice. To die to his old self and be reborn, purified, worthy of sacred service. I love that, <laughs> I love that. 
the knight offered himself on the altar of the ultimate sacrifice to die to his old self and be reborn, purified, worthy of sacred service. Will death claim the knight for his own or set his feet back on the path of mortality? To truly be transformed, it must not matter. Acceptance of endings is demanded, whether of life itself or merely one role in this lifetime. Something that is finished must be released. The new day is dawning. Wow, that is amazing. But the cards are amazing. I'm not saying the situation is amazing. How the cards are coming out. Okay, the key ideas the I did <laughs> the key ideas for the death card release of what no longer serves I feel like you have I did <laughs> the I did these are the I did you've released of what no longer serves the end of a part of life rebirth into a new self or situation okay let's finish with a message from Rumi and you can get on with your rebirth Okay, <laughs> and I can get on with uh, painting one's nails. <laughs> it's better than twiddling my thumbs. Okay, right, let's um, get a message from Rumi. Arise. I did feel that energy there. I said, you know, good things are really waiting for you once you get up. Can you see those cards? You can see those cards. Would you like me to put a spotlight on those cards? <laughs> it's like crooking the neck of the lamp. I don't think it's made much difference, but <laughs> had some sound effects still. Okay, card number 13. So the number of the death card there, arise. Wings of hope languish from lack of use. When wings dissipate and weaken, life begins to lose its value. Every cell in your body is created to rise to challenges. Your life is meant to confront everything that holds you captive. Don't sit at the bottom of the well, not caring about salvation. Listen to the voice within calling to you. Reach for imminence. Reach for eminence beyond your own maturity. Rumi. I dance before you in sacred spectacle, hoping to garner your attention. Look at me, I cried to your ailing spirit and despondent flesh. Look at me. If you were to look up, you would see that I am a mirror of your own being, your light, your heart, your spirit, your all. Yes, there is pain. Yes, there is a letting go taking place and you are frightened and uncertain sometimes. But, <clears throat> but, you make this mean something that it does not. It means that you are to turn your head away from what is dying. Do this gently but firmly. Turn your head, turn your head towards what is living. Look at me, I will show you truth and you shall laugh your deepest belly laughter with so much glee, sharing in my secret that the only force at work in your life is unconditionally loving divinity. I see in you a divine wild child and sacred heart. You have gumption, chapel, guts, you dare to love where others only see pain. You dare to believe that everything will somehow work out 
where others see only what they judge to be wrong. You see love where others ply fear. You seek freedom where the world still buys into manipulation and propaganda. Don't lose heart, beloved royal child. Dare to believe. You are right to do so. It is the divine rebel in you that refuses to surrender hope. Give up the fight, perhaps, the battle that comes from a place of fear, but never give up your hope. That hope in your heart, that optimism and patience for growth into love creates a light within you that helps the world see through darkness. It becomes a candle that shimmers contentedly upon the windowsill of your heart temple. There it is, more obvious, even in darkness. The stars do appear the stars do appear to shine brighter at night, beloved, but don't become consumed by your nightmares. They will pass with the coming dawn, you'll see. Don't give them too much stock. Instead, put your attention towards that defiant candle of hope that burns, as it is its nature and purpose within you. Can you sense its warmth? even in the presence of cold fear. Ah, it shall warm you now. And if not, then I come to remind you, you are a blazing angel. You are filled with holy fire and you shall prevail. Oh, the joy of you, the expanse of you. You fill my own heart with your magnificent essence. I see and know the Great Beloved in you. There the Great Beloved is, looking out at me from behind your eyes. I see the candlelight of your heart temple flicker within your gaze. That is what the, that is what the candle of hope honours, the workings of the Great Beloved, so creative and crazed with love for you that all circumstances of your life, down to the tiniest detail, are evoked out of love. Love out of passionate desire takes you from despair into hope, from holding onto letting go, from turning away to opening up. So the Great Beloved takes you across the moonlit ocean into the temple of the cosmic heart. Here, an eternal flame burns bright with hope, igniting the light within the hearts of all of humanity. You are being asked to trust, to gently lay to rest the suffering that has been, perhaps because of what you have labelled as the failure, the doubt, the losses and setbacks. They are so little in the greater scheme of you. Put them aside, allow them to rot and become fertilizer for life, but do not try to keep them alive beyond their earthly expiry date, lest you become tainted or poisoned by the rot. Let them go and instead focus on what is alive now. Can you sense that before you is a great being of light, a greater pathway opening up? This is truth, blazing angel. This is truth. Take the step. So easy is it when the light of the heart is felt within, reminding you of your own divine nature. The world is here for you to experience so that you may realize divinity in its majesty, mystery, and love, more so than ever. All serves that sacred purpose, so embrace it. Find your faith, be at peace, know that no matter what appears to be, all is well. You are so loved, 
it cannot even begin to be translated sufficiently into words but it can be transmitted from my heart to yours just as the sun catches dry tinder and sets it aflame. This oracle comes with a message for you. Arise. You have been downtrodden for long enough now. Perhaps you have been feeling defeated, put upon, underestimated or walked over in mind, body or spirit by others or your own doubts and fears. Enough now. You are liberated through the hope in your heart, the defiant optimism that buoys your spirit and demands that you shall have your dawn. You shall rise like the sun and begin anew now. Step up. It is your time. Guys, I will talk to you soon. Until then, take care. Much, much love. Bye for now.